Go. Hi, this is Farmer John. We're going to be installing rear, <laughs> You're rear wheels today. Larry, am I okay? Keep going. Yeah, you okay. keep going. <laughs> uh, we're going to be installing rear wheels today that are painted. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to mount them, and that's what we're going to get into right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap all our screw holes first. And I use a drill if you've got one that you can use. Uh, go ahead and clean out all the threads before you mount the wheels. This is a lot faster than having to do it by hand with a wrench. And I've cheated. I've already done the rest. I'm not going to do the rest. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our two dowel pins, our alignment tools that we're going to use to put our wheels on. And you're going to put one at 3 o'clock over here to the right. Turn your wheel here, your hub. And we're going to put the other one over here about 9 o'clock. So when we set our wheel on here, we won't scratch it all up. And these are a little bit harder to put on because this hub sticks out way past where the rim is going to be. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to wheel one of the wheels over here and see that it's at the right height. Make sure your tread is going the right direction. If you put it on there and you accidentally get it going the wrong way, you get to take it back off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this wheel over. I'm going to sort of walk it on here. Try not to scratch everything up. And we're just going to sort of just roll it on here. And I'm just a little bit low on my wheel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it back off. I'm going to take it back off. And we're going to use some wood shims put it underneath it until we get our pipe that we need. And what we'll use for that is some of this plywood we've got over here. You know if I'm going too fast for you, Larry. No, you're alright. All right. We're going to put this underneath our tire and then we're going to check it one more time to keep our height where we're at. Don't want to do this very much. Fitting them up, we wore out the time the end of the day comes. Okay, let me see here. I'm looking pretty close, but I think I went up just a hair too much. I'm going to take one piece out. See if that brings it to where we need to put it. As you can tell, we didn't practice this until just now. All right, I like that way that looks. So what we're going to do is rotate our axle a little bit if we can. Tire. We're close to our dowel pins. I gotta go just a little bit more. Yeah. Gotta find my dowel pins here. One on the right there, right in about the middle edge of the axle. Yeah, we're we're actually just a little, we're just a little bit off. It don't take much, but it's just a little low. Well, I've got it good and stuck on there. Is what I've got. Um, Let me see here. Let me see if I can rotate this just a little bit. Put it a 
neutral. one dowel pin lined up just like that let me get a some screws and even bolts um so we need to just put a few in here so it wasn't too painful but shimming it up makes it go on a lot easier and you can actually do it with one person without scratching a lot of stuff up <coughs> 